The Chausat Yogini Temple is located in Bheda Ghat, about 20 kilometers from the city of Jabalpur in Madhya Pradesh. The ancient Tantric temple stands atop a hill that overlooks the Narmada River. The Chausat Yogini Temple located near Bhedagat in Madhya Pradesh is the largest of the circular shaped Yogini temples that are found around India. A flight of steep steps numbering around 100 leads to the top of a hill on which the Chausat Yogini Temple is located. The temple is believed to have been built by King Yuraja II of the Kalchuri dynasty sometime during the 10th century. It is believed that the ancient city of Tripuri, the capital of the Kalchuri dynasty, was visible from the Chausat Yogini temple. Who are the Yoginis? As we ascend to the Chausat Yogini temple, it is important to know more about the Yoginis. The Yoginis have been at the center of Tantric worship in Hindu Tantra outside of the Vedic religion. The Yoginis are considered to be manifestations of Shakti and also include the Ashtamatrikas, namely Brahmani, Vaishnavi, Maheshwari, Indrani, Komari, Varahi, Chamunda, and Narasimhi. The concept of Yogini worship in India evolved around the 9th and 10th centuries and this saw the rise of yogini temples in the country. However, tantric practice was done secretly as it involved secret tantric rituals and black magic. It is because of this reason that these temples were in remote and inaccessible areas. We have reached the top of the hill and let us now enter the ancient Chausat Yogini temple of Bhedagat. A massive circular wall around 10 to 12 feet in height and closes the temple and completely screens it from the outside world. It is fascinating to note that the Yoginis were attributed with the power of flying and hence all Chausat Yogini temples are hyper-ethereal or open to the sky. It was early afternoon and hardly anyone was there inside the temple when we entered. A strange feeling gripped us as we stood in the center of a huge circular structure. It seemed like the yoginis were looking at us from all sides and there was no escaping their gaze. The yoginis are considered to be tantric goddesses who are the attendants of various manifestations of goddess Durga or goddess Kali. It is believed that the concept of yoginis evolved from tribal or village goddesses and later found the way into tantric worship. Most of the yogini sculptures are in bad condition with their heads and hands cut off and only a few are recognizable. But the sculptures that have survived do not fail to evoke the mystical aura of the yoginis. Most of the images depict the yoginis in the Lalitasana posture. This is a posture in which the figure is seated on a throne with one leg tucked inwards and the other leg hanging freely from the seat or throne. Lalitasana is a common way of the depiction of many of the Hindu gods and goddesses. It is believed that the Chausat Yogini temple in Bhedaghat was originally built for 81 yoginis. However, over time some of the sculptures have been lost and replaced. One of the most impressive of the yogini sculptures, which is reasonably intact, is that of Sri Teramva. This beautiful sculpture can be seen in the niche that is marked as 30. 
There are a few sculptures of male gods in the temple and prominent among them is this dancing Ganesha. In the northwestern quadrant of the temple complex is a temple to Shiva known as Gauri Shankar temple which was built around the 12th century. Inside the temple sanctum one can see the main image which is that of Shiva and Parvati astride Nandi. In the center of the circular temple is a platform with a canopy and besides these can be seen a shivling and some temple bells. As we left the Chausat Yogini temple behind, we could not help but marvel at the stone images of the yoginis which though a shadow of their original splendor, even today manage to evoke a sense of awe in the beholder. To know more about the Chausat Yogini temple in Bhedaghat and the names of each of the yoginis that are depicted here in stone, check out our blog at the link mentioned here and also in the description. India is a fascinating book without a last page. It is like a melody composed with limitless notes. It's like a rainbow with countless colors. Its rich heritage is a mesmerizing tapestry of experiences. Join us as we virtually relive some of our experiences of traveling across India. Experience and explore India with us as we take off on an exhilarating journey to places across India, some known and some unknown in our Dekho Apna Desh series.